Uh, yeah, I think in Belgium we were lucky. Um, the government decided straight away from the beginning that the sport is really important for our health and uh, that, yeah, we, we still need some kind of entertain entertainment. Uh, so we were always able to go out for walking, uh, riding our bike. Um, yeah, outside was, uh, was always... Uh, we had permission to do that, and actually it's been uh, super sunny and good weather in Belgium this spring. Um, so that was also uh, uh, a big plus. Um, I hear some riders were getting a little bit of a, a unwanted aggro and problems from, from riding on social media and from cars and stuff. Have you had any, any issues out training? Uh I didn't have any issues related to the coronavirus, but uh, I had a small accident in the beginning of April. Uh, but that's something that can happen every day, actually. It's always uh, dangerous on, out there, and uh, I got hit by a car. Luckily, uh, only my bike was, uh, was, was touched, and uh, I, I didn't have any scratch or something. So uh, I came away uh, yeah, without, without anything, so uh, that was good. Um, do you have to ride on your own, or are you allowed to ride with somebody else? Uh, I trained yeah, a lot on my own, especially when I had to do some intervals or something. But uh, we were always allowed to to have one uh, partner. Uh, so I did a lot of trainings with uh, Jan Bakelands. Okay. Um, sometimes Marta Wijnands, my teammate, who lives quite close. And also Dan Soot is... Uh, He's a professional cyclocross racer, and we grew up together, uh, so we, we always train a lot together. So uh, we, were, we were still allowed to have uh, one friend. 